Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to add um, update methods for Sprite so that you can do various tasks with them. So this one, um, you need a Sprite in order to do this. So I've got a basic Sprite defined, got a position and a frame. Okay, so let's just run this quickly. So this is my spiral thing. Nice, horrible green spiral. Um, so I'm going to create an update routine. So I'm going to say, in the Sprite constructor I'm going to say on update plus equals and I'm going to say uh, I'm just going to call it keys no, I won't call it keys because it's a keyword um, move keys I'm going to call it then right that doesn't exist so it goes red squiggle but I can right click and say generate method stub okay and it creates the method for me so I'm going to use the input manager. I'm just going to move this around in four directions. So down, left, right. So I'm going to say if gm dot input manager key down keys dot right, and I'm going to put curly braces because I might want to do different things. Um, so I'm just going to change the x position of the sprite. I'm going to say plus equals. And then I'm going to use the event manager to say value per second. So I want it to move at 200 pixels per second. Okay. So to move left, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to ask the input manager if a key's down. So is a key down, and the key I'm checking is left. And I'm going to say, so I'll do me opening brace. Get rid of that so I get a bit more space. Go away. Um, X minus equals. So left is negative. Again, ask the event manager and say value per second 200. Okay, so this update routine, you can add loads of these and you'll see in pre further videos that I do that. But these are just um, bits of code that you write that are run by the engine when it's updated a sprite. So it says, oh, have you got any updates you want running? And you go, yes, because I've added them in. And then it runs them. So let's just do it. We should be able to move left and right now. It's jerky because of the recording software. The engine's slightly better than that. Okay, so it moves left and right. Amazing. Now, one thing you might want to do is flip a sprite. And we can do that by using the effects for a sprite so if you type effects and we can say equals sprite effects now flip horizontally is the one you want because it flips around the y-axis to the vertical axis so when I'm moving right I want the graphic to flip the other way but when I'm moving left because this one by default is looking like it's moving left I'm going to turn the effects off. So I'm going to say effects equals sprite effects dot none. Now you'll have to work out, depending on your graphic, if it's a, a graphic that's drawn facing left, you'll do it one way. If it's a graphic drawn facing right, you'll do it another way. So you'll see the effect of this really quick. So as I go left, it stays OK, but as I go right, it flips around. Okay, so you can do flip vertically as well, but that tends to not work with most sort of games. Um, unless you're doing a vertical scroll and shoot mode and you need to flip like that, I don't know. Okay, so that just though flip. To do the other keys, exactly the same. So if I want to go up and down, I can say gm dot input manager dot key down. Notice how it remembers what you last used for something. So let's do keys dot up braces. So y is what we're going to change and negative is up. So if we take away from the current y position and again use the event manager. The reason you use the event manager is so that you can be frame independent. So if your game's running slow you'll still get relative movement um, based on the frame rate that's 
currently happening. Right, so I'm now doing the down key. So this I'm just using the curse keys for this. Uh, and I'm going to say Y. Down is plus for Y. So key down. If I type properly, it might. If I type input manager, it might help. Key down. Oh, what am I doing? I'm being stupid. It's because I was talking while I was typing the other bit. So I'm using the event manager. Value per second, 200. So now I've got a sprite that will move up, down, left, right. It's on a tile map, but it's not interacting with the tile map yet. Another video will show you how to do that sort of thing. So we've now got a sprite. It's moving up, down, and off the screen. Okay, so I'll show in another video how to move the viewport. That will be a really quick one, using another update routine. Okay, so on update plus equals, move keys, got it to generate that, and then just put the code I want it to be in for the keys.